presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, comment parlez-vous. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's yeah, good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So, well, we uh, appreciate you growling on problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, I've done gold reports and all the softwares and all your books and read it. Generational thank you. you are, seminars, thank so you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To practice a relationship is therefore about taking action. It is not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 311, NASDAQ down 158, SPs off 20. Gold, gold contract up $25.40, trading at 2,372 an ounce. We have silver up $1.18 at 3,107. Light sweet crude flat, $82.17 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note trading up eight ticks at 110.17. The 30 year up 20 ticks at 119.26. And here's your culprit, folks King Dollar. King dollar right now is up 366 ticks, trading 105, 620, euro 107, yen at 158, British pound at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the dollar, let's take a look at it. We're going to the dollar first because the bottom line, this is what's going to, I, in my opinion, is going to move this market. So, what you have is this. Check this out, man. So we know that what you had is this dollar kept going in its higher range, kept well, kept going in its lower range, rejecting it, gets back to its higher range. This time we've been in the higher range now for nine trading days. And you can see if you're watching Tiger TV, you came through this area with strength. So that's telling me that we got 107 that's coming at us. Now, I want to do this. I want to bring this back further, actually. Because I want to see what's on the other side of this. Yeah, okay. So, what is that one right there? That's, okay, so that's the 107.348. Yeah, 107.348. Now, that's where I suspect it's going. And, you know, that's another one penny and three quarters higher. We'll see what it does to the market. We go to the NQs, what we're going to have out here today, NQA. That's the live contract. So what you're going to have out here today is you made a higher high, you gave it up, and you know we'll see whether we're going to get more out of this on the way down. What is wild is that when we take a look at the Dow Industrials, now the Dow led the Dow down. It certainly didn't do anything else. That being said, you can see what happened is that the Dow actually made a low, you know, like three weeks ago at uh, 38,000. Is that 38,000 flat? Oh, that's weird. 38,000.96. Okay. And what you have out here today, there's some, there's, they're buying the Dow, man. That's the bottom line. So right now we're at, let's take a look. Okay, so you're approaching the 61% retracement from the highs to the lows. We go into the composite. We take a look at the composite, and that the composite, that's a nice bearish engulfing inside the composite, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, so that's a bearish engulfing, which one, two, one, two, yeah, that's a bearish engulfing. The gold contract, we look at gold, gold, gold caught a bit out here today, for sure. 
And this is with this is divergence for sure. I mean, gold, 241,000 contracts. That's good contract volume, man. Hasn't broken his downtrend yet, but bottom line, you know, it's coming right up to it, actually. When we take a look at this, you're going to see it's right at it. Would need another day like tomorrow, to, like today, to bust through that line. And the volume has expanded inside of the gold contract, which is good. NVIDIA, NVDA. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA traded to 140 today. It's at 131 right now. Now, that's going to set up a bearish engulfing also. So that's saying that, okay, that thing can come back a bit. What is going to be wild tomorrow is this, folks. Okay, so picture this. Tomorrow, you have 5.5 trillion in options expiring. Now, out of that 5.5 trillion, it's 11 to 1 calls. People have been buying 11 to 1 calls. That is like a monster number, folks, okay? So if they can get the market lower, that's going to blow out all the calls. And, of course, the option market makers are going to all be buying like, you know, $20 million houses. Uh, so this is not, that's the first part. The second part gets really wild. And what it is, is this at the close, because of the XLK, the XLK, which is a sponsor, uh, state street, which is a sponsor of the XLK has to buy $12 billion worth of NVIDIA, which is down 466 right now. And they got to sell $11 billion worth of Apple. So this is where this is going to get really wild coming into the close. Apple's down 450 right now, trading 209.78. Now, what I have seen is this. Some, e even with those numbers, those numbers are large. But I have seen large numbers like that, and there's no disruption at the close at all. And I have seen numbers like that, that there's huge whipsaws. And guess what? We're going to know at the 3 o'clock hour tomorrow because it, it normally starts an hour before the close. Because what happens is that you can't, like an ETF, they can sell at the close, but in order to keep the value correct as to what it's trading off of, they got to get as close to the close as possible in order to do this. So there's going to be action tomorrow, man. That's the bottom line. We're going to take a look at the, some of the higher volume equities out here today. We know NVIDIA is going to be at the top. NVIDIA is down 470. You got, well, this is interesting, A AMD. So let's look at this. You got AMD trading up $7. That finally has caught a bid. And this, let's see. This might have broke this little downtrend. Yeah, it did. It broke the little downtrend. So that's saying AMD like can get to 174 right now. Yeah, it broke that little one. But this has been quite a hit. I mean, AMD went from a price point of 227, and you know, last month it was at 141. Now you're at 161. So there's been some real action here. There's no doubt about it. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading. Come on, trading up 316. Nasdaq is uh, down 143. S&P's uh, down 16. Stay right there, folks. I got our man Elliot Wellen back coming up. He's the senior vice president of Direction. We are going to be talking leveraged ETFs. Great day to talk about it when uh, huge volatility is going to be in here tomorrow. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. 
This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 309. You get the Nasdaq down 168. S&Ps are off 20. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Elliot. Uh, well, I'm back. Elliot is the Senior Vice President of Direction. Of course, we know Direction shares. We can trade both sides of leveraged ETFs. And in this particular case, because we're coming into option expiration tomorrow with $5.5 trillion notational value that is expiring, which is an 11 to 1 call versus put, folks, okay? This is going to get really intriguing. Elliot, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, Tom. Uh, great to be back. Thank you for having me on today. Absolutely. Well, it's a great day to have you, man, because you just heard those numbers. That's a pretty incredible number. And then on top of that, Elliot, we have, and I know we have the single stock futures, uh, ETFs rather, um, you know, Apple, uh, plus NVIDIA, and that's the bear or the bull side, folks, at, you know, a, a 200 or, uh, well, the, the, the bulls are 200 and the bears are 100. Um, because what's going to happen at the close tomorrow also is that the XLK has to buy $12 billion worth of NVIDIA and sell $11 billion worth of Apple. So <laughs> I, I'm sure that you are going to have your hands full. So what do you think about, I mean, today we get the S&P, you know, back a little, but we already did hit an all-time high. So what are you thinking about the all-time high out here? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, a few days ago we saw the, I think it was the 30th all-time high for the S&P this year so yes. far. Um, yeah, it did retrace uh, a little bit today. It doesn't look like we're going to have another all-time high. But, uh, no, it's, we've definitely seen a lot of pickup in trading in our S&P 500 leverage products. Uh, we have SPXL, triple leverage bull, yes. off the S&P 500, and then SPXS, the triple leverage bear. Um, we actually saw um, – uh, SPXL was uh, last week, at least, uh, the, in our top 10 of our ETF suite of outflows. And, you know, you see that pretty commonly of uh, traders taking money and gains off the table um, when they see a run up, uh, especially in the triple leverage products. Um, but no, definitely uh, some exciting stuff. And, you know, what you mentioned with NVIDIA. Yeah, becoming uh, you know world's most valuable uh, publicly traded company. And uh, we have that rebalance in uh, XLK where uh, NVIDIA has been a pretty uh, significant underweight, uh, you know, but with the market cap adjustment, 
Um, it looks like NVIDIA and Microsoft will be the two heavyweights of both around 21% each. And Apple's going to, you know, as you mentioned, fall pretty sharply to, it says, right around 4.5% um, after that rebalance. So, yeah, a lot of activity in our single stock ETFs. Well, which is so cool. It's amazing, you know, that, and you guys were way ahead of the curve. I mean, you have, the, you, have, you have the best single stock futures that are out there. I mean, we're talking about NVIDIA, Tesla, Microsoft, uh, Facebook, Meta. I mean, uh, it doesn't, Amazon, right? It doesn't get any better. It's like, okay, what side of the trade do you want? It's, it's really cool, man. There's no doubt. Now, yeah. hey, talk to me, because what, what also happened is that now the retail sales, everyone's been waiting for the consumer to, you know, basically you know, give it up. And I can tell you through my career, <laughs> I think they've been waiting for 40 years. <laughs> I mean, you know, we have dips, but you know what I'm saying? It seems like the United States consumer can always keep coming back. Now, I know this was flat, um, but just talk to me about it because we can also, you know, trade the consumer stocks either on the bull or the bear side. Yep. No, definitely. Yeah, we saw the retail, uh, U.S. retail spending. Um, I mean, it, like you mentioned, it didn't, it wasn't negative. Um, there was a very slight increase uh, in May of 0.1%, uh, and um, uh, the prior months were revised down. So it's, it looks like it's weakening, um, starting to weaken a bit, but still, you know, we're still seeing growth, and, you know, it's not a, a tremendous miss. But, uh, yeah, if you are looking to trade uh, some of the consumer discretionary stocks. Uh, we do have a triple leverage bull product. Uh, want is the ticker. Um, and we also do have the retail select sector. Uh, that is a triple leveraged uh, bull ETF as well. And that's RETL. Um, so, yeah, no, some, some diff, uh, definitely some interesting, uh, you know, we'll see how that kind of shakes out and if that has any, you know, impact on uh, kind of the Fed and, you know, where they're looking at with, uh, you know, the, the rate cycle. And, yes. if, uh, you know, it's more, um, you know, they said they've, they're going to be data dependent. So we'll see if, uh, you know, that adds some uh, fuel to the fire for them. You know, what's so cool, Elliot, is that, you know, folks, when, when you set up these leveraged products, right, what happens is that you have to have swap lines and, in behind the whole structure, you know, it's, it's pretty heavy in order to do that. Now, it's so cool that you guys don't have to worry about that, particularly on a day like tomorrow, right? I mean, because, you know, I, I said to the audience, I've seen these days, Elliot, that there's no disruption at all in the last hour, even when there's like four trillion, do you know what I mean? And then other right. days, it's like, okay, hold on, the last hour, we're going all over the place. So this one with NVIDIA and Apple is going to be so interesting because it's like, I'm trying to figure out, you know, they got to get as close to the close as possible in order to do it, to stay, you know, what the XLK was doing. And it's like, how do you how do you sell $11 billion worth of Apple? <laughs> it's like, OK, yeah. you know, <laughs> so this is going to be something else, man. I mean, it really is going to be something else coming to the close. And of course, when we look at NVIDIA, you guys are set up beyond belief. I mean, because the bottom line is that that we know it hasn't stopped. I mean, we know, we know at some point it's going to stop. But it's really sweet that you can actually get into an equity like NVIDIA and, you know, get 200 on one side, 100 on the other. And I can understand that because the bottom line is that there's plenty of people that have been shot in NVIDIA all the way up. And, of course, even after they did a 10 for 1 stock split, it went, it went up another $20. It's like, <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, normally, not normally, you don't know what happens, but... That was that was pretty incredible. Also, now we got to get to gold before we get off because we got all these folks that you know in the metal market, and you know, like last time we talked, it's really intriguing that inside the ETF structure there hasn't been as much action as there is in the actual physical gold. Now, my take is that that's going to start changing again. But of course, you know, we got the uh, the nugget and we have the dust and. You know, those that those are starting to get some big action also, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. no, definitely. And what you mentioned, uh, you know, we've seen it all year where uh, the spot price of gold has, uh, you know, uh, advanced more than the miners and the miners have lagged a little bit, uh, but they have played catch up. Uh, but yes, our uh, our nugget and dust pair 2x on the gold miners and then even our uh, junior gold miners yeah i've seen uh, you know uptick in trading uh jnug and then uh, jdst uh 2x bull and bear products 
Yeah, and the, and the clientele loves the, the small caps, too. The, they, there's, there's no doubt, because what does happen, folks, is that percentage-wise, when the juniors start moving, they move at bigger percentages because they're at smaller dollars, which affects the whole trade, which is so cool. You know, there's no doubt about that. And, and you know, that market, Elliot, is really so small, which is really cool. Right? People don't really realize, I think, how small a metal market is compared to, you know, you don't have to compare it to the S&P. You can compare it just, just to a couple other indices. But when you get it right in that sector, you can get it really right because once the run starts, it's, it's, a, it's a nice run. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, no, absolutely. Those are great trading tools. Well, listen, this is always a pleasure. You know, thank you so much for the education. We really look forward to talking to you in the next few weeks. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thanks, Elliot. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You too. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 291. NASDAQ is uh, down 172. S&Ps are down 21. We got our man, Mr. Tim Ward, coming up next, folks. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LarryJune24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 291. You get the Nasdaq down 144. S&Ps are off 16 and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, you can get hold of Tim every trading day at Ord, R-D hyphen Oracle.com. That's Ord hyphen Oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, it's uh, not a lot going on. It's kind of quiet. You know, we had a uh, holiday yesterday, and this is expiration week. Yes. Uh, but we we got a little panic in the market. We can start off with chart one there. Okay. And then and, let's, uh, let's get, okay, well, get chart one up here. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Uh, well, anyhow, the bottom window is the three-day average of the trend. Next one up. Uh, next higher window is a two-day average of the trend. Uh, next one higher is a five-day average of the trend. And the top window is a 10-day average of the trend. And actually, on June 13th, which was last Thursday, actually one of them hit on June 12th. But anyhow, on June 13th, all three or four of those... Uh, uh, f um, four, four of them, yep. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, what I'm trying to say. Anyhow, it was a three-day, two-day five-day and 10-day trend all gave bullish signals on June 13th, which was last Thursday, okay. Wednesday, Thursday. So anyhow, the market kind of popped up, and whatever panic happens, uh, let me uh, st uh, step in here. But anyhow, a trend reading, one-day trend reading on the close of 1.2 or higher shows panic in the market. And the more days you get of panic in the market, the more solid that bottom becomes. And so that area I, I shaded in yes. pink there on that chart are the times when all four of those indicators, the, the two, three, five, and 10-day trend, all reach panic levels. So I'm thinking there's going to be a pullback next week. Normally, you have expiration week, which normally an up week. The week after is the use of mouth consolidation. But there's really no downside here is my point of this whole thing. You know, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but around No, no, I can see it. That, this is a great chart, Tim. I can see it. And, folks, he has the arrows pointed, panic levels, support levels. And look on the other side of that so you can see where the spy was. When those panic levels come in, you didn't hit lower lows. So, no, I see what you're doing here. This is cool, man. Okay. Yeah. You, yeah. You know, you went, so, went sideways, you pulled back a bit, but you didn't hit lower lows, man. You just kept going higher. Yeah. 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 You get, so, you know, and if you pull back, usually it's in vicinity of those, uh, you know, can you hit the little bit inside? Yeah. But normally the previous panic area, especially if you get five different or four different moving averages all coming in, in the same spot, that's quite a bit of short term, uh, even, you know, a 10 day. Uh, pattern. Uh, so anyhow, you got to supply this support in general on the 540, which is not very far down from here. So there could be a mild consolidation, and but that would be about it. So let's, let's look at the real short-term picture on page two. Okay. Uh, shark two, rather. So this kind of blows it up. I listed in blue there. Um, I see I thought it. I was a head and shoulders bottom fine. But anyhow, I listed in blue the days where the trend was 1.2 or higher. And you can kind of see what's going on there. So around that 540, maybe you can get down to 520. But, you know, you start hitting that air, pink area, you're going to find support. Because once you have a panic in an area, once you get back into it, it starts panicking again. Now, oh, that's a, cool. A trend okay. will get to 1.2 or higher again. And the market really has a hard time going down with a panic reading of, of uh, 1.2 or higher. So if, it's, if that area is going to be support as it enters that uh, pink area again, the trend should start popping up to 1.2 or so, saying that, yeah, we're, you know, this is support, we're not going to go down. And uh, so, in a nutshell, I, I want to say also on the volume there, I got volume, we're up seven days in a row going into yesterday. To say most likely it's going to probably be a down day. And seven days in a, up in a row, predict the market will be higher, I think, and I forgot what exactly it is, but it's like 90% of the time. It will be higher within five days. Okay. So if we do a pullback, chances are you're probably going to get panic in that. Uh, same uh, zone, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, same zone. And uh, then from there, we'll probably start going up again. So, But next week could be a soft week. It, could, it kind of just may go quiet. But And, you know, folks, as, as Tim's talking about these trends, I mean, these were monster trends, man, last week. I mean, you know, I know, yeah. you know, Thursday gave you the best one, but Wednesday was, I have a closing trend of 2.12 on Wednesday. 
I have Tuesday 1.3, two, uh, yeah, Tuesday 1.3, Wednesday 2.1, then 1.3 and 1.3. Those are, those are huge. So I can see what you're saying, that you can back down to that area. Even for a test, more than likely a test with lighter volume, too. You know, we'll see. But that's, that's, a, that's a great lesson as to what we should be looking for, you know, in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people yeah, a lot of people study volume, you know, you get a sign of strength, you come back down on a lighter volume, you test a previous low or something on a lighter volume, find support. But not anybody really done anything with the trend. Exactly. And so this is kinda of like new technology, I no. guess you might say. I agree. You know, I, yep. I, you know, when we first time met back in Oh yeah. You know, mid I was doing some stuff with the trend back then. Oh yeah. And uh uh and you know, I was kinda of on the right track, but you know, as I years pass, you come from you know, you start seeing what's really going on in the market. You know, panic is, is the best thing you can have in the market. Hey, it's, listen. You know you're going into a low. The, the, you know, the, what's the, 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 the worst thing that can happen is no panic, and the, you're going down. The trend, you know? the trend, absolutely what you just said. To me, Tim, okay, when you taught me that trend, I've caught these bottoms. And what happens, folks, is that you don't get scared if you really understand the trend. You know, you might get scared for like, you know, two or three minutes. <laughs> um but, you know, as you've caught bottoms, I've caught some good bottoms, man. I mean, I'm talking about the blowout bottoms, too. Because yeah, when this yeah. thing goes wild, folks, okay, you hit the buy button, and, you know, yeah, you're praying at the same time. <laughs> but the bottom line yeah. is that I, I have, I guess it had it not work a few times. But I don't remember. On all the big ones, it worked beyond belief. I mean, the one in 2007 was like, if you ever seen the 2007, if you're in front of a screen, folks, the 2007 bottom, was it March 6th, March 10th? I forget what it was. But that trend blew out like, I forget whether it was 6, 7. I mean, it was something crazy, man. I just hit the button. And it went down. I, mean, I think my account went down another like 20 grand or something. And then at the end of the day, it was up 160 or 170 grand. I mean, it was like insane. And it was like, and that was the trend. That was the trend that did it. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. I was sitting there like, oh, my God, I don't believe it. It just blew my brains out. And then five minutes later, it was different. It was a trend. It was a trend that did it, man. So, wild. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we, we, you remember we were doing stuff with the uh, ticks, too. We yeah, oh, the yeah, well, no, I, I, uh, I, I combined them. got a break coming up. That was, that was, that story. They, were, they were hitting minus 1,700, minus 1,800, yeah. Stay right there. Tim and I are coming right back. Yeah. Dow right now is up uh, 286, NASDAQ is down 140, S&Ps are off 16, we'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 
Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and a prowl with us out here. We have the Dow uh, up 274, Nasdaq's down 135, S&Ps are up 15. We are talking markets. Okay, Tim, should I go to the third chart? Yeah, we'll go to the third chart. Okay, I have it up. Uh, we yeah, uh, we're kind of just paying attention. This is uh, the bottom window is the XAU gold ratio, and so far it's, it's uh, still making a higher uh, market error. The uh, month ends a week from tomorrow, so you got about a week to go uh, to make this chart really relevant because you got to really wait till the monthly close to look at a monthly chart. And so, but so far, uh, if the market holds steady or um, moves in its vicinity, most likely we won't have a signal of any danger on the monthly chart. In other words, we want the SPX to make higher highs, and you want this ratio, which is the SPX VIX ratio, make a higher high. If okay. you do that, in general, the market's going to work higher. Now, if, if you go up and make a higher high on the SPX and the ratio makes a lower high, then a lot of times you, that's when trouble starts to happen in the market. And so far, we don't have that. So now that 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 might be a little turn today, though, right? Because with the SPX made a higher high, and the VIX ratio, I mean, the VIX is at thirteen two five. So it's going to do something to it today, probably, right? Well, this was updated uh, when I sent it in a couple hours ago. Oh, okay. So, okay. Um, okay. Um, so it's not yeah, going to move it yet. But, okay. but you got to look at the, you know, the. The ratio, too, I mean, normally when the ratios or the uh, VIX is low, you know, 12, 13, 14, you don't get big declines. No, know? no, for sure. You I mean, the 14, when that right. VIX gets uh, yeah. up around 16 or 17. Right. And uh, so in general, we're okay. I mean, not, I, you know, it's good. Yes. It's not bad. Yes. So. Uh, so anyhow, so anyhow, you, you got panic right below us, anyhow, according to the trend. So it looks okay. But, you know, this summer, you know, you got summer right. doldrums going on i don't For know sure. uh, i think the market still could move higher probably in july so we'll yep. see but okay. in general it looks okay so i'm staying long on the SPS. Right, you got a great trade on tim you got a great trade on there's no doubt man that's i couldn't yeah, take so, i so couldn't far, so working so good so i'm kind of watching carefully here so we can flip to chart four okay uh this is uh the second window down from the top, I got a bunch of color stuff in there just so you can kind of see what's going on. Yes. But the second window down from the top is a bullish percent index for the gold miners index. And I think you went and looked up, isn't there like 30 stocks in gold miners index? Yes, yes. there is. That's, so uh, anyhow, yep. Yeah, so anyhow, uh, the bullish percent index is, in other words, uh, it measures the percent of stocks that are pointing to your bicycles in that index. And when I print, print this chart, we got about 78.57%. Uh, so about uh, 70. So so of the 30 stocks, it looks like about 20, 25-ish are on buy signals, which is pretty good. Oh, yeah. You don't want to be 100% because you get 100% of them buy signals. Normally, they come at tops. It's too good to be Look. true type thing. Okay. So you... 
you wanted to hang around between basically above 60 and below 95. Pretty cool. And we're right smack. Yeah, so we're staying in there. So you don't get big declines when it's this high. Um, unless you get some news like the COVID or something like that. Yes. You know, COVID, uh, you might do something. But in general, this market looks pretty good. So let's look a little bit closer. Okay. And uh, go to, yeah, go yep. to chart five. I have it. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit, this is, uh, this is a really, there's a market really, more, as far as the gold market, all the things I've done with it, I've tried different indicators and, you know, just a bunch of different stuff. Yes. What seems to work the best is momentum on the up-down volume and momentum on the advanced, dec or, uh, uh, yeah, advanced decline. And this is a weekly chart. And the bottom window is the uh, up-down volume, and I did a cumulative up-down volume. So it kind of yeah. smooths out a lot of stuff. So when it's, once momentum starts going in one direction on the up-down volume on a cumulative basis, it goes in that direction. So there's not, not a lot of uh, back and forth. This is a weekly chart. You'll get some false signals on the weeklies, but not usually on the monthlies, which is the next chart. But I wanted to show you what the daily is doing. And the bottom window is uh, it gave a buy signal here a couple of months ago, whatever. And if you look at to the far right, I've got the window kind of blown up. It's a thumbnail window. Yes. And, I see and I that. Oh, yeah, cool. There. Yep. You see a blue square? I do. Well, you know, the market... You know, if you look at the top window, GDX has been pulling back for the last uh, month, month and a half, or month. Four, it's been down four weeks in a row, not counting this week. And if you notice that the up-down volume, which is the bottom window, went up. And also, next window higher is the cumulative advanced decline also went up. Well, I thought that was pretty interesting with the market pulling back. It is. It's it showing, is. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it, and the reason why that's supposed to happen is because chart four or chart six. Okay, I have it. Okay, chart six is the same chart, but on a monthly time frame. Okay. So what this? Yeah. So it, it gave a buy signal a couple of months ago. Whatever we talked about it. Yes. Stuff. This chart needs to continue higher above the mid Bollinger band. Once you get above the mid Bollinger band, it normally the same thing. It, it's a cumulative basis. It. Usually, once you get above the mid Bollinger Band, <laughs> its momentum carries it forward, and it usually stays there. There's very few uh, false signals on it, on on this indicator, especially when both of them give the buy signal. Right. So this is still making higher highs. If you look to the right of the, you know, that thumbnail on to the right, you can see uh, GDX is pretty much over the last month has actually declined a little bit, but both the monthly advanced decline. And up down volume still gained ground. Yeah, so, and it came and right back. Exactly I mean, what's what's what spooked me here is that it came right back, you know, to where it was supposed to come back to, but that dollar was going up and it's like, okay, man, this thing's not gonna hold, but it held. And then, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, we have two days of going up and it held right where it was supposed to hold. And so yeah, there's no yeah, doubt that gets really. That. Yeah. That's the reason why I think in that neckline, because you really, I don't have the volume on that GDX. We did have a sign of strength through that neckline, and, and so you kind of came back. Volume did drop off a little bit, but the internals, which is what this is, yeah. this chart is, is is the advanced decline and up down volume. That's what makes a market. That what makes it go up and down. Right, and and they gain ground. So, and the and this monthly chart once it gives a signal. It very seldom flips back and forth to buy sell signals. Yep. No, I so I'm, I'm thinking this is a, this is going to be a multi-month uh, signal. If not a multi, uh, you know, it could be a multi-year signal. I don't know. See, the last signal we got was basically January 2021. It was a sell signal, and you had a little blurb there in 2023 on the uh, uh, up or advanced decline, which is second window up. But the, the bottom window up down volume never did get a, above got on that midpoint or uh, got, got on the uh, mid Bollinger band, but never closed above it. Here we have both of them above it, so which is huge. I think it looks promising. Yep. No, I, I listen. There's there's no doubt. And it's no. about time anyway. That's the that's the other side of it too, because you know no one's been talking gold. I mean they've been talking gold because 
the contract itself went up, but not the equities. You know what I mean? That's where we get a big score coming on, no doubt. Well, listen, Tim, yeah. it's always a pleasure, man. You have a great weekend, a safe weekend. We appreciate the education, and we look forward to speaking to you on Tuesday. All right. See you then, man. Love Thank you, guys. Love you, man. Right. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Coming right back. You have the Dow 287. NASDAQ's down 130. S&Ps are off 13. We're coming right back. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to our man John in Philly. John, what's going on, brother? Hey, Big John. Real quick question. Um, Exxon, Chevron, Conoco, Oxy. Could you uh, look at the uh, daily or weekly chart? And uh, I'm just wondering, is there anything that you see in those charts that tell you this little bounce you've put in just a short-term trading low or possibly something much more significant? That's, that's my quick question. Appreciate uh, listening to you. Absolutely. So we look at Exxon today. It's up 255. So I think Exxon, John, you know, we're at 111. I think this 105 is going to get hit again. Uh, well, the, where I'm going with the 105, I'm going back to on a weekly October. Because we, we, when we hit the highs, you know, it didn't have enough juice there. We came off them with some good volume. Now, this rejected lower price out here today. And I can, I can see where you're coming from because it, it hasn't broken its downtrend yet, but it's getting there slightly so the volume is contracting so that's telling me that 
this bottom that was put in, you know, two days ago is probably going to at least get tested. When you do look at the other side, I can see what he's looking at because we had volume that was holding this thing up at 120, 120 to 110. No, no. Yeah, 110 to 112. So it came right back to where it's supposed to come back to. Um, I would wait just a little bit more on it because it looks to me like you still got a little downdraft. And, and we have the divergence out here today, meaning that you got the Dow going up. The Dow is down first. You know, NASDAQ has come back slightly, nothing heavy. Um, but I would just hold off just a little bit more on this. Let's go CVX, too. So Chevron. Yeah, Chevron's the same type of setup. But, you know, it's good how it come back on light volume, though. That's the other side of it, man. Tomorrow's going to be a wild one, folks. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Great show, folks. Yeah, look at him, folks.